Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my kitchen, so you know this is gonna be a baking vlog. And today, well, we're not really baking, but we are cooking some outrageous garlic bread recipe courtesy of Ina Garden's cookbook called Modern Comfort Food by Ina Garden. And I've been wanting to make this for a really long time because I love garlic bread, but I never had the bread. So I went to the store yesterday and got some, but quick, peep the new book stand my mom just got me for Christmas. I've been wanting one and it even has these little things. So the pages are held down so i'm loving this so now i can stand up my books and cook recipes and it'll be so much easier and i got a fresh french baguette from the grocery store and that's literally all i needed i have everything else so let's get cooking so our first step is to preheat the oven to 450 degrees which seems a little high but the bread only bakes for I think the recipe said five to seven minutes yep so not too bad and how good does that look I don't know if y'all love garlic bread but I love garlic bread so I'm very excited about this hey y'all I'm not gonna lie I did most of the prepping off camera because there was a lot happening and working with garlic. And if y'all have worked with garlic for long periods of time, you know it gets all sticky on your hands and all that. So I didn't want to be like, have like sticky hands and then like holding the camera would have been a mess. So I did that off camera. But look at this y'all, let it focus. It's December 28th and we got snow. I think we're supposed to get like two to four inches but it's so pretty i literally went to put my coffee cup in the sink and i noticed it at like probably 11 30 and it's 1 30 so it's been going for probably like two and a half maybe three hours because there was already like some on the ground and it was coming down fast so anyways let's get so we've to got all our ingredients laid out so our first step our oven is preheated because I had to use a whole head of garlic and that doesn't even look like a whole head of garlic but it is I eat these garlics now where like some of the cloves are like small like I want the big shit I don't know about y'all and we get that melting so melting some butter then I think we add in the garlic what it says melt the butter in a small saucepan over low heat add the garlic stir to coat with the butter and cook covered for 20 minutes this is involved <laughs> but I mean the finished product like oh my god that looks so good so now I feel like I preheated the oven like way too early because I did not realize this was a 20 minute ordeal. Stirring occasionally, transfer to a small bowl, set aside until cool enough to handle. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm turning my oven off because it does not need to be that hot in here. For no reason. We're not even going to start cooking it. Okay, well I have the garlic already, but I guess I mean, this stuff can all sit out, but I will put the lemon away. Oh my god, and the whole lemon thing had me, like, frazzled because in our fridge, like, not even a week ago, I looked in there and there was, like, at least six lemons, but it was on, you know, how you have, your, like, like, your fruit in your vegetable drawer. Well, it was in the fruit side. I think lemons are technically a fruit anyway, but that's just where we had room for it at the time. So we put them on the left side and then I looked today and there were none there and I was freaking out but then we had, they got moved to the right side for whatever reason. So 
I'm going to put the lemon in the fridge for now because I don't want it like sitting out. And we'll melt the butter. I was gonna hand chop the garlic, but we got our like fancy garlic press. I never had one of these until we got our house, but it comes in pretty handy and I feel like I never use it. Like, I guess just because I never like grew up with one, I always forget we have it. And since I have to use a whole head of garlic for this, that's like, even though it doesn't look like a lot, it is. So I'll just smash it and get it in there and cook it for 20 minutes with the melted butter, y'all. I get it now with the garlic. The first time I read over this recipe, well, first of all, I have three Ina Garden cookbooks total. I looked through the one I just got for Christmas and another one I had out and I was like, where is the garlic bread recipe? I know it's in one of these. Totally forgetting I had another book that was like more like put away. And I was like, it has to be in this one. And it was. So the first time I like read through the recipe was on my phone. Cause I was like, I want to make it today because I tried to make this recipe a couple months ago, but I left the baguette sitting for too long and it went bad. So I want to make this right away while the bread is still good. So it says, melt the butter in a small saucepan over low heat, add the garlic, stir to coat with the butter and cook covered for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally until the garlic is very tender. Transfer to a small bowl and set aside until cool enough to handle. Mash the garlic in the butter with a fork. Stir in the Parmesan parsley, lemon zest, red pepper flakes, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and half teaspoon of black pepper. So the reason you're cooking the garlic for so long is that it's soft enough so you can just mash it with a fork instead of like chopping it all up or using like a garlic masher or anything like that. So you just want your cloves separated and peeled, which um is less work for us and then when the garlic is done it'll be so tender it'll just mash right up so that's super easy so we've got our garlic in coated with the butter so we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and we will see you then okay y'all the timer just went off for this bad boy so I We'll be honest, I only stirred it once. Um, let's go ahead and give it a stir now. Yeah, my garlic looks pretty tenderonies in there. Okay, so it says to pour into a bowl and let it cool completely before working with it. Let me just double check that. 20 minutes stirring occasionally until the garlic is very tender. Transfer to a small bowl and set aside until cool enough to handle. So, I will put it in the bowl. Oh my god, I just got a smell of the garlic and it smells so good. So, I'll probably leave it in here for, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes. I don't want, like, all the butter to get, like, hard and all gross but it is like steaming hot so we'll come back in like five to ten minutes and mix up the rest of the ingredients okay y'all so it's been about five minutes we've got our bread sliced up and ready to go so i'm gonna mash my garlic with a fork like the recipe said to do and then add in all my other ingredients okay y'all here's my mixture so in here we have one cup of parmesan cheese we have two tablespoons of it's supposed to be minced fresh parsley but i used dry parsley because I forgot I needed parsley for this recipe so I didn't have any fresh parsley on hand. Um, two teaspoons of grated lemon zest. That kind of threw me off because I don't think of like lemon when I think of garlic bread. 
So I just zested half a lemon. So that might have only been like one teaspoon, but I don't want my garlic bread to taste like lemons. So got some of that in there. I omitted the quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes because I do not do spicy. So I did not want that in there. Kosher salt, um, one and a half teaspoons and freshly ground black pepper, half a teaspoon. And that is it. So now it's going to go on the bread. So the Parmesan cheese definitely thickened it up a little. I do want to taste it and see like what, what flavors we have going on here. So I'm going to give it like a small taste. Oh my god. Tastes amazing. Oh my god, it tastes good. The lemon's actually like doing something good here. So it says slice the baguette in half lengthwise and place both halves cut sides up on a cutting board. Score each half diagonally, don't cut all the way through, in large serving size pieces, spoon all of the garlic mixture generously on the cut sides of the bread. Cut each half of the baguette in half crosswise along a score and place the four pieces on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Bake for five to seven minutes until the topping is bubbly and starting to brown and the bread is crisp. Transfer to a board, cut in serving pieces along the scores, sprinkle with flour to sell, and serve warm. So it says flour to sell or sea salt. I have sea salt, but I don't think I'm going to use it just because I'm not really a huge fan. But let's get that mixture on that bread and get it in the oven. Alright y'all, here we go. Now I'd have to say when I do make this again, because I will be making this again, I think I might like double the recipe of the mixture because hers is like very nicely like coated like it is like piled on there and mine's kind of just sitting on there and on like most of the pieces it's not even like all the way to the end because like there wasn't enough mixture now granted a little bit did fall off but like that wouldn't even make a difference so I definitely think I would double the mixture also I don't know if my loaf is like bigger than hers hers looks wider but I feel like lengthwise they're like the same so even still, that means mine should have had like more if hers was wider. So we're going to start it out for five minutes and we'll see you then. All right, y'all, here we are after seven minutes. I did look at it after five and it really didn't look like it had cooked too much. But after seven, the smells were there. The bubbling was there. Oh my God, I cannot wait for this to cool down just a little bit because... I feel like I could eat half the loaf. I'm super excited to try it and I'm going to give it a few minutes to cool and then cut a piece and taste it and let y'all know how it is and then after I'm filming I will probably eat half a loaf. Alright y'all, I'm not even sure that it's been five full minutes yet but I cannot wait any longer. I ripped off a small chunk so let's taste test. Oh my god, are you kidding? That was like a spiritual moment. Best garlic bread, hands down. This is going to be my go-to recipe from now on. The bread is like crispy, but where the mixture is, it's like soft and like chewy, but not like soggy. It's just perfect. It has the perfect mix of like crunchy, crispy, and like soft and chewy. Um, the flavors, like even the lemon, which like I wasn't sure how I like felt about, is fantastic. Um, it just like goes so well with all the other flavors, which like I feel like I've used all these flavors combined before, so I don't know why I was like that sounds weird but like on like a garlic bread it kind of does to me at least but amazing 
literally I'm probably gonna eat like half the loaf um not literally because I do want to save some for Joey when he gets home but amazing 10 out of 10 we'll be making again soon I want to have like a dinner party and like make Ina's penne alla vodka or no I don't actually use her recipe shocker I'm a huge Ina garden fan but her recipe seems like very long and like unnecessary so I've actually used New York Times cooking recipe and that's the one y'all so that's my favorite penne alla vodka recipe and I want to make that and I want to make Ina's garlic bread and have friends over and serve it and have like some red wine oh my god this sounds like a perfect Sunday <laughs> I have to do that soon but um yeah really good make this bread even if you don't have Ina's cookbook it's online on Food Network's website delicious I hope you guys like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye guys